We're here at uh, Innovate Australia Summit and uh, today's topic is show me the money with some great lineup of speakers and I'm sure all the people that are in attendance today are going to get a great deal of information for their business and for their innovative ideas and R&D projects. I'm here with uh, Adam Osiran. He's one of the organizers of today's event at Innovate Australia here with Show Me The Money. Adam, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. I'm well, thank you. And what an amazing event you've organized today. It's fantastic, yeah. We had um, we gathered the, the, really the right people talking about how to get the money, how to deal with the taxes, how, and also the, the cherry on the cake, I think it was the, um, the, the, the story that uh, one was telling, telling about uh, the blockchain. And that's also something that I personally believe also is going to be very prevalent very soon. Technology always comes about and I yeah. think that there's definitely innovation there. Yeah. Um, did you see some of the people engage with that from an ICO and a blockchain perspective? Uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. I mean, uh, uh, funding and money and, and dealing with money and taxes, it's, it's, um, it's established technique, established strategy. When you're talking about um, you know, blockchain, we, we start looking at the future, in fact, and the immediate future, and blockchain is the future, and the technology that will be involved in it is amazing. It's already amazing, and it will be even 10 times more very quickly. Yeah, I can't wait to, uh, to see it happening. Awesome. Well, it's so good. The, I mean, these topics are really important for uh, the, the public and for Perth and WA's economy to be looking at these innovations yes. if we're going to start to uh, get innovative uh, in our own right. Yes, and, and actually we, we need to move very fast uh, at this level because I've heard, overheard uh, uh, a discussion here when um, Juan was saying that he's... Uh, city where he came from is Barcelona, uh, are much more advanced than, than we are here in Perth. So we need really to move fast to catch up and we can and we should. I love summits like this because it definitely encourages that sentiment. Yeah. Thank you so much Adam and thank you for all you do. Thank you. Guys. I'm a VC so I invest in startup companies. I've been uh, running a venture capital fund called Ua Capital for eight and a half years, co-founded with some others. Uh, and I'm also an angel investor so I invest in startup companies at the early stage with my own money. And I'm here to talk today about uh, VC and angel investing and how that operates in Perth. Excellent. And what got you started in that, Matt? Uh, well, I was a software entrepreneur, but prior to that I was a chartered accountant and then I became a management consultant. Then I worked in mergers and acquisitions, which is a lot of valuation work, a lot of negotiations, and, and you get the skills to learn how to invest in companies and get a good return out of it. So that sort of resulted in the pathway to becoming a VC. And then having made a bit of money for myself, I wanted to put my skills to good use and hence the angel investing. Certainly a good time to be doing it with the banks getting tighter and tighter with lending. What are you finding out there today? Uh, well, yeah, there's a lot of opportunities because um, I pr principally invest in software type companies and so software technology is really like eating the world and doing amazing things and so um, given all those opportunities and most people in Perth understand mining, property and perhaps a bit of rural stuff or agri agriculture type investing. So the tech opportunities are really strong for me. So I like that. The banks certainly never touch that until you've got a company that's starting to actually make profits. You're highly unlikely to get money from a bank. So it's a great idea to talk to an angel investor who can add value beyond just the cash. And are you seeing some of these companies grow with the, with the ability to have access to the funds? Oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be putting my money again and again into these companies if, if they weren't doing that. And it's not only about growth, it's also about profitability. So I focus very heavily on the team and their ability to pivot um, when opportunities come up from, from customers, uh, identify really strong investment opportunities for themselves to get a good return into the business, but, but drive towards a position where they're not just growing for the sake of growth, they're not just working on vanity metrics, but they're actually generating cash. And, and you know, my, my best investments actually pay me dividends. So that's the kind of thing that I'm, I'm after over time. I'm here with Charlie Gunningham. He's the moderator for today's Australian Summit. Um, talk to me, Charlie. Tell us what, what are you, what are your uh, initiatives for today, yep. and what are you excited about doing here? Well, Bass, I work on something called the Accelerating Commercialization Program. It's a federal government program, 484 million dollars. So it's actually one of the biggest venture capital funds in the country, but it's run out of Canberra. 
I'm one of two representatives here in WA. Cheryl, my colleague, is also on stage today. Um, and we hand out government money. How good is that? To innovate Sounds fantastic. <laughs> It's fantastic. I can't believe this is a thing, but uh, it's a fantastic job. Uh, in all seriousness, my job is to find the most innovative projects that deserve funding. So they've got something innovative, something new, something novel that, it, that has a big market and they can, it's a dollar for dollar matching grant. So they can raise half the money to get it commercialized and they come to us for the other half. But before they come to us, they need to already have an MVP or a prototype, something they can test. And then we'll pay for those client trials, those pilots, to see if there is something there. So it's a wonderful program. There's an awful lot of innovation going on around Perth and WA, and I get to see it every day. Excellent. And is that ongoing, the, uh, the program and the funding for the year, or has it got like cut-offs every couple of months or something? No, good question. Unlike the R&D tax rebate, for example, which a lot of startups use in the early stage, it's not an annual thing that you, you apply for. There's a rolling meeting every six or eight weeks in Canberra. So when you've got your funding proposal ready, you just go to the next meeting in Canberra. There are eight meetings a year. So it continues through the year. You can apply at any time. Come and see Cheryl or I. And we'll probably have a coffee with you to start with. That's a good starting point. See if you've got something novel, something deserving, something that might be competitive. Unlike the R&D tax rebate, which is an entitlement, if you've got, if you've got eligible R&D activities, you're entitled to some of that money back. This is a competitive program. So you're going up against the most innovative projects in the country and only the best get funded. And what kind of innovators would we encourage to, to look at this program? Is it in technology specifically or mining or...? Yeah, anything really. You've got something innovative and novel that has a real application that you've worked on, but it could be in the ag tech area, it could be in mining software, it could be a gadget, it could be a medical device. We're actually industry agnostic. We're just something that is deserving, right? It's all about jobs and growth. Can we create great companies here and stop them going offshore and maybe give them a little bit of help to get them over that valley of death through to commercial sales. That's what it's all about. Our six projects we've taken to Canberra out of WA have all got funded, which is great. And uh, they have then gone on and done even greater things, raised more money and created more jobs and innovative uh, and actually managed to commercialize their projects. So that's what it's all about, Bass. So yeah. it's good to see that you're representing WA for something that's uh, Canberra centric. Absolutely, getting the WA flag flying, getting some of that money over here, which is tremendous. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time, James. Thanks, Bass.